What's good YouTube, Ben here, welcome to the next video on the channel. In this one, I'm going to give you the next episode of MTG Arena, where I go online one of my decks to see if we can get some wins. In this one, we're going with a mana burn. Let's get into this. Alright, this is my uh, historic mana deck. Um, so it's uh, blue, red, and white. It's a really solid deck, to be honest. Um... I do enjoy playing Historic as well. Like, Historic's fun. But we'll jump into a game, and with any luck, we'll uh, hopefully have a decent match. It really depends with Historic, because I I'll usually encounter one of three kinds of decks. Uh, I see a lot of Mill. Mill is something so common in uh, Historic. That is terrible. No. <laughs> That's a little better, but not by much. Uh, get rid of Urbrask. As long as I can draw a third land, preferably red, I'm fine. It's a 105 card deck. Interesting. I really need to draw a red land. They have the Black Dragon. Interesting. Oh, fun. Life gain deck. Fair. Okay. Life gain should be interesting. Fine, whatever. Uh, throw out more land. I need two to summon that. Uh, let's go ahead and activate Quarrels and drop to Inferno because I don't need it. There we go. Red land. Beautiful. Really, they can't do anything? Wild. They've probably mana droughted super hard. Banging. Um, we'll drop the blue land. For a moment there, I thought they were going to crash. Like, why are you crashing your Hello Priest? It's one. It's one damage. What do you do? <laughs> um, drop a red. The funny part is I'm just sat here discarding lands as if he doesn't need land. Oh, not that crap. I'm getting rid of that. Because I can. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they surrendered. All right, fair. <laughs> Man, they must have bricked so hard. Like, that that wasn't just a brick. That was, like, a concrete cinder block. They must have bricked so bad. I'm not going to lie. When people brick that hard, I kind of feel bad. Because, I mean, it does happen to me, too. Like, on the rare occasion... Because the thing with magic is... You can't combo without having land, but if you just drought on land, you're done. Like, you need to be able to get land, but then at the same time, if you get too much of it, you're screwed anyway. Because if you draw too much land, you're not drawing into cards that you could use to combo with. It's That's actually a solid hand. Very nice. Land-wise, it's very solid. Like, good, good amount of land. Might throw that up. Really? It costs that much? Damn. It costs four. Wild. For just a plus one counter as well. I mean, don't get me wrong. Green is all about building up land, but... That's mad. I'm not going to let them start building. I'm waiting for them to play the first enchantment or artifact so I can just get rid of it. But It's a wall. That's fine. That's fine. They're playing a normal standard size deck as well like I am. So they've clearly got a specific strategy in mind that they're aiming for. Oh, 
Although game, I could do without a mana drought. That'd be nice. But like this harkens back to the point I was mentioning earlier on. Like if you don't get enough land, you are done. Like I need a good amount of land for this deck to work. That's just not a good amount of land. There we go. More land. Let's go ahead and activate another. I don't think you've got anything I can get rid of with that. Nope. I'm not getting rid of my own prior inscription. Why would I do that? Okay, what else have you got? I'm saving my Flame of Arnor just in case. Oh, come on. Bushi. I could really do with drawing another red or blue land. I'm not going to lie. One more red or blue and I'd be fine. Preferably a red. Red is the one I need more of. Not exactly what I needed. Not gonna lie. Draw two. Okay, a blue and fiery. Okay, I'm down with that. At least I can get another inscription out. What are you adding? Like, my question is, what are you adding to your hand? I don't think it'd be a land. It must be a creature. This is the Archer's Parapet I can get rid of at any time thanks to Fire Inscription. Really? Wild. Didn't see that coming. I thought they were going to grab some like really powerful monster to their hand. So they grabbed that. I mean, okay, fine. It's a common green, but I'm curious as to why you would do that. A curious choice. All right, we've got Haunted Jin on the field. Solid card plus it also um, instant sorceries cost one less to cast. So I'm down with it. Fair. Come on. Wait, didn't you get a creature? Oh, you did. I was going to say, what? Another one of those, fair. Okay. Activate Flame of Arnor, draw two. I do not need a third copy of Disenchant Game. What are you doing? <laughs> Wild. No. <laughs> oh my god. So literally in my hand, I have two copies of Urabrask. I have three copies of Disenchant. I don't need this many. 
Like, I genuinely do not need this many copies of Disenchant. Can I draw a red land, please? That would be great. <laughs> uh, are we kidding? Fine. Draw two. Can I have a red land, please? Hey, that's about better. There we go. I can actually do something in my next turn. Jesus Christ. Worst part is if they play any enchantments or artifacts, I'm set. Because I can just destroy all of them. Like, go ahead. Play an artifact or an enchantment. You've got no cards left in your hand, but still. Doesn't matter. I can still block it. They've got to attack with something. Yeah, they are. I was going to say, you'd be stupid. I mean, you're going to lose at least one of your monsters, but... Like, why? Okay. I'll, I'll bite. What was the point? Oh my god, it's about time. Huh, okay. There we go. Even better. Get out of it. Still get to draw a card, but still gets rid of the enchantment. Okay. You gonna attack? Nope. Thank you. Finally, a decent bloody card. Drop a disenchant. Oh, I win. <laughs> I win. Boom. There we go. I had way too much land, but that's mostly because of the fact that, you know, the game just decided not to give me red mana when I needed it much earlier on. But hey, we got the win, so it's cool. But yeah, if you want to see me uh, do some live streams, I do do live streams here on YouTube and over on Twitch at the same time. So if you want to watch my streams on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications. And if you want to watch my live streams on Twitch, that link is in the description. Follow me over there. And don't forget, you can also support the channel further by becoming a channel member for as little as 99 pence per month here in the UK. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching today's video. You can hit the button on the right to subscribe to the channel. You can hit the button on the left to watch the previous video. Don't forget to like and comment on this video to help boost it in the algorithm. And don't forget, you can also support me further by becoming a channel member. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one.